Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 25.5 of my Let's Play of Mole Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. I realized I have something that I'm going to need for this party, so I'm going to go get it. Did I say I already have it? Okay, I don't have it, and I need to get it. Whoops. Okay, three, four, five, six. Now, once I have this many coins, I can get the No Encounters bracelet. It's a monster preventing armlet, more specifically. So let's equip this on Luca. There it is. I said it was one of my favorites because it's a lot more convenient that way. Now, this is an Elias aside, clearly. So, just like with Alice, here in Succubus Village, we need to get our hands on their boat to go north. So, this conversation goes basically the same way. We ask her for the boat and she says she can't do that. It's the same as suicide. So, no. Oh man, this is bothersome. What do we do? Why don't we consult with someone whom you can trust? After all, in this village, there's someone you trust greatly. Oh, is that a hint? Oh, I know. We'll consult all of Stromeria. She's totally not a bad guy. Oh. Well, Alistair has gone and unexpectedly disappeared somewhere. Well, that happens a lot, though. By the way, guys, why the long faces? Is something troubling you? So, why don't we invite uh, Heinrich to be one of our allies? Wouldn't that be fastest? If he's coming along with us, the village chief should be able to trust us with their boat. Oh, to be allies with a legendary hero, this is great! Yeah, he's so very reliable. Hmm. On the other side, I took the pirates and got out of Stromeria and they... My pirates said a couple of lines when she joined too, didn't, uh, didn't they? So maybe it's a Elias you're supposed to take the marines. The for the two lines of text. Anyway, yeah. We're, we are inviting him into our party. Or more specifically, Elias is. <clears throat> Heinrich, I am the goddess Elias. Now, you shall come along with us. You are the goddess Elias. Yeah, it's true that you resemble her, but... Well, after all, I won't, won't be fooled that easily. Oh, your eyes are completely not holes, aren't they, worthless? If you disappoint me any further, then I'm going to go search for a news hero at the dollar store. Oh, the way you speak. Without a doubt, you are the real Elias. This is the sound of someone being very disappointing and being very disappointed in her goddess. And maybe her chosen heroes, too. I understood, then. I'll come along with you. My sword is exists for your sake. Simple as that. Oh, this is amazing. We're fighting alongside a le the legendary hero. Oh, I'm getting so fired up. Oh, man. I'm getting kind of embarrassed here. And furthermore, I'm not really on the level of any legendary hero. But 
Is this really all right? We're wrapping the hero of a parallel world up in our problems. Heinrich, what occurs from this point on is a dream. And within this dream, I am giving you training. Do you understand? Understood, Elias. You're, you're delivering to me dream trainings. See? He's very well trained, isn't he? This is the sound of somebody very disappointed in her goddess. And maybe her chosen heroes. So, with Heinrich along with us, the village chief shouldn't have any complaints. So, let's talk to her again. Okay, sorry, but can't give you the ship. It's far too dangerous. I'll be accompanying them as well. So, can't you please do something for us? Oh, if Hynix is along with you as well. Alright, I cannot refuse you. So, take the village's merchant ship. Thank you, village chief. Well, that went well. So, let's hurry to the ship right away. Same guy here. This is a ship. Hey, I heard you have permission. You want to use it? So, let's head. One second. I forget that so often. Okay, once we get through this cave, we're in Helgon Continent. Naturally, it's long and difficult, and the monsters are strong. Alright, anyway, we're prepared for that. Heinrich has his own thing to say. So, this is the dream training which the goddess Elias is delivering to me. This is a good preview training of my trip to the Mile Castle myself. Yeah, I feel like we're kind of tripping him, tricking him here. Well, in reality, Heinrich ne needs the training. And furthermore, he needs to go to the Mao Castle and defeat Black Onus on his own power. Oh, and anyway, I wonder where Alistromeria has gotten off to. Well, it is a dream, so I guess it's only natural. Heinrich, you should forget about that person. She is absolutely evil, and you should not lend your ear to her voice. Elias Sama, you're always saying that, but... I know that she isn't a wicked existence. She thinks to herself, I'm just repeating the same thing. Oh, well, maybe she's realized that starting to realize that she may have made some mistakes. Oh wait, this is Elias we're talking about. So we're finally halfway there. I'm so very tired. So there's still another half left. Well, it's the cave going to the Mao castle. Of course it's going to be tough and long. Come on, let's all go. That's right, we can't give up here. Let's put our spirit and courage into this challenge. I feel like we have increased having two Lucas here. Isn't that great? That means there are two guys you can hit on. Well, you're not very good at hitting on guys either, so... Maybe it's not that big of a benefit. So, exit. Yep. It was long and difficult, but we're through the cave. This is Helgon's continent, as expected. Kind of unnerving atmosphere. It's overflowing with evil presences, and the dangerous monsters are rampant here. I'm tired. How about we rest? Yes, I'm exhausted as well. 
In the shrine we can see to the east. Why don't we rest? All right. And this time the priest is perfectly normal. So, hero, you have come to the continent of monsters. Let the light shine upon the great hero. All right. So, recovery, screwing around with your party, and setting this as your respawn point. Anyway, if you go west from here, you get to the wicked, wicked city of town of Remina. While you can prepare yourself for the final battle, don't let the uncleanness of the city color you. The unclean city, is it like Pornoff with a bunch of perverts in it? Or maybe like Monte Carlo with all the bad guy looking guys in it? It's a town where humans and monsters coexist. It's extremely rare in this time period, but to you guys, it would be probably pretty normal. But I'm always thinking uh, that it would be nice if humans and monsters were... Heinrich. Yes, I understand. Saying such a thing would disqualify me as your follower. In the end, it's the same thing. It's like a fate that follows her. Okay. If we go to the west, we get to Remina. In our age, it was destroyed, but in this age, it still stands. We don't have any direct things to do there, but in order to prepare to take the Mao Castle, we should prepare ourselves. So, it's a good plan to go there. Sure, great. Let's do it. In this Elias aside, I'm going to go a little deeper than I get, did in the regular straight through. Because Elias has some interesting comments. So, we've gotten within sight of Remina. It's a nice fortified city, isn't it? Although it's called a town, there's also a castle. Well, it's a small country ruled by a king. Thirty years ago, when Remina was destroyed, the royal house, was, the royal house's bloodline was ended. However, anyway, if we go east northeast, we can continue on to the Mao Castle. Of course, we should. Prepare ourselves in Remina first. So, Remina from 500 years ago. As expected, it resembles some of the things we've seen in the Tartaruses so far. So, if we investigate here, might we learn something of the mysteries we've been trying to unravel? No. That possibility is non-existent. The Remina to which the Cataclysm happened is 500 years from now. When the Cataclysm happened 30 years ago, on the day that I destroyed Remina, or should have, I was erased and this town was swallowed into chaos. Yes. Did you just say that you destroyed the Remina? You must have misheard me. And rather than saying these stupid things, we need to prepare ourselves. We need to go assault the Mao Castle. Have you forgotten? Man. She's the offender here and she's making him seem like the bad guy. I'll keep the general observations about Remina for the regular line, but what Elis has to say is basically these two NPCs. 
This is Adina. She says, Oh, hi, Nick. You were able to come here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm the princess of Remina, Edina. Your eyes have the same color as Heinrich's. 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 Yeah, whatever. It's a very mysterious, like a deep lake. Oh, how very nice. But why is it? Although you seem to be a wonderful person as well, I don't... My heart doesn't get a flutter in the least. Oh, I'm so very sorry. I said something so inconsiderate. Elia says that that's only natural. In order to prevent incest, living beings have a reaction to people of the same genetic type as themselves. They can't get sexually aroused. Since the hero Heinrich and Edina's child, son specifically, is Lucas' ancestor. Should have been 25 generations ago. Eh? Then Luca is a descendant of the royal house of the Remina? Yeah? Really? I was? Yeah. The one and only remnant of the Remina royal line. Although there is no one who actually knows that on Earth now. So his father is descended from the legendary hero and the destroyed royal line's descendant. And his mother is the highest level of angel. Could it be that Luca is really, really well-bred? Well, yes, of course. Okay, that part of the conversation being over, Heinrich actually greets the princess. Hmm, considering these two are going to have a kid. This should go well, right? So, how do you do, princess? Ah, uh, Heinrich. I'm so glad that you're safe. Ah, yes, as you can see, I'm safe. Hmm. You know, somehow I feel like you should be saying something else here. So, as a little prayer for your safety, I'd like to give you this indigo crystal. This has been passed down in our royal house. Oh, I can't accept something so important. I'm a hero. You can't know when I will... Uh, when or where I will fall in my adventures. Yeah, he's so dense. I'm doing it so that you will return safely to me and to return it. And in that case, you shouldn't give it to me in the first place. So, if you would just keep your hands on it. So she's sending out a beam of light of romance, basically. And he's just a diffuse mirror. And that's an ability that Luca also has. So, take this indigo crystal, Hero Heinrich. If you don't return it with it, then I will chase you to the ends of hell. Hey, okay, if you insist. This princess is pretty strong. Yeah, maybe you could learn something from her. Hmm. Ah, yes, this. Okay, hero. Welcome to the continent of monsters. Have you come to assault the Mao castle? Yes. And heroes always say that, but most of them have already given up on the, that mission. The strength and numbers of the monsters on the, this continent cause them to eventually lose their fighting spirit. But your eyes are overflowing with a fighting spirit, a spirit that I think differentiates you from those 
other heroes. And, somehow, your eyes resemble my daughter's. Hero, accept this. May it help you on your journey. So, this is a martial god soul. Yet another one of those high level items, high level class items. This is for the warrior class lines. But is this really alright? Rather than me, shouldn't you give it to Heinrich? Hmm, well, this is just my premonition, but you are on a mission that's even greater than Heinrich's, I feel. So, go ahead. Hero with my daughter's eyes. May the goddess Elias protect you on your journey. And again, second part of the conversation. How do you do, your majesty? Oh, Heinrich! It seems like your journey is going well. Yeah, well, yes, thanks to you. I'm just one step away from the Mao castle now. So, when you defeat the Mao, I will welcome you as my daughter Adina's bruh, as my daughter Adina's groom. Oh, we can't do that, your majesty. Princess Adina has a heart, which you should not disregard like that. It, uh... Princess Adina is not a prize to be given away. She has a right to choose the man whom she wants to be connected with. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Adina. This hero is just too dense. Even if you fill in the mode for him, it's no good. That's a saying meaning, even if you remove all the obstacles... Yep, Heinrich is pretty dumb. Well, Luca is pretty dumb too. I wonder if Marqueros is dumb. Yeah, anyway. That'll be the end of this alias aside. So next time we're going... In the regular one, doing a little more in Remina, and then heading for the Mao Castle. So, thank you for watching.